A kiss under the mistletoe. Disclaimer. The names of these characters have not been changed to protect the innocent. The following events have not been edited much, so as to provide you, the reader, with the truth. Just the truth, and nothing but the truth. So help us, Toaster. As the bailiff, recorder, judge, jury, and narrator, we cannot be held legally responsible for the actions of characters under our control. This is a non-profit court of fiction, so don't sue us, or we will hold you in contempt of court and counter-sue. Now that this little part is done, go ahead and read the story, please. Author Chris's Note This is our first attempt at writing a decent comedy fanfic, so could you please tell us if we succeeded in any way? Please? Thanks. A Kiss Under the Mistletoe by Kristen Poe and Amalia Ryoko James. Ash and company were currently residing at Ash's house in Pallet Town. Chris, nice change from the endless forest roads, huh? I didn't think so either. It was the most wonderful time of the year, Christmas. However, just because it was wonderful didn't mean it was quiet. But, Ash, everyone knows that the angel is put on top of the tree by the youngest girl in the household, Misty exclaimed. Is not the star is put on by the youngest person in the house. Is not, is too, is not, is too. While they were arguing, Brock took Pikachu, shoved him in a cute little dress, gave him a wand, and put the confused creature on top of the tree. What the hell did I just read? Pikachu then made an adorably cute pose while lighting up the entire Christmas tree. Ash and Misty, of course, didn't notice this and continued to argue about who should put up what on top of the tree. Pikachu got rather tired of their argument and thundershocked Misty and Ash. Unfortunately, Pikachu wasn't very careful and ended up shocking Brock and the super-clean Mr. Mime as well. Everyone fell to the floor more than a bit frazzled. Then Mrs. Ketchum came in, saw the scene, and said, Oh my! in a rather Kasumi-like fashion. Amy. Kasumi from Ranma Half, not Pocket Mustards, by the way. They all got up surprisingly fast. Chris, as all anime characters seem to do, sigh, and went about their business some more. Brock, Pikachu, Mr. Mime, and Miss Ketchum took over decorating the tree, while Ash and Misty went up the stairs. When they reached the top, Misty screamed. "'What is it, Misty?' Ash asked, confused. She was too shocked to give a verbal answer, so instead she pointed a shaky hand up. "'Oh, no, it's not another bug, is it? Ah! Ash screamed as he saw what she had been pointing at earlier. Now do you get it? It's mistletoe! Wait a minute. You don't mean... We have to kiss, Ash. It's tradition. Ash blushed. I don't know, Misty. I mean, well, I mean, it's just that, um, can't we just break this with tradition once? Misty sighed. Don't I wish, she started while actually thinking, okay, maybe I really don't wish, but you can't break a holiday tradition like this. Ash looked down and towed the carpet a bit. It's not that... It's, well, God, this is going to sound so incredibly stupid, but, well, um, I've never kissed a girl before, and I wanted my first kiss to be, um, I don't know, special, he stumbled, hoping she'd accept the pitiful excuse. Suddenly, the pair at the stop of the stairs heard laughter behind them. Misty turned her head and quickly found the source. Brock, why are you laughing at me like that? she exclaimed, taking it personally. Oh, come on, Misty, turn about as fair play. Remember that hidden village where Ash got Bulbasaur? Yeah, but geez, that was like si at least six months ago. So, are you gonna kiss him or not? You'd better do it before Team Rocket shows up. Too late! Three familiar voices said as folk smoke filled the ever-popular hallway. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reaches to the stars above. Jesse! James! Team Rocket blasts off at the speed of light. Surrender now, we're prepared to fight. Meowth, that's... Meowth looked up and flipped backwards quickly. Meowth, what did you do that for? Jesse yelled. Look up. Huh? James looked up and yelled, let out a girly shriek. Chris, like Mulder's girly scream from Joe's Chung's from outer space. But anyway. Jesse looked up and just blinked. Uh-oh. So now we have authors... So now we authors have trapped two couples under the mistletoe. Both... How did that get there anyways? Pikachu grins at us and jingles the mistletoe, both now understanding. Ah, now back to the story. We don't have all day, you know, Brock and Meowth shouted in unison. I want to, but she he doesn't, Missy and James retorted while pointing at their respective kissing partners. Ash's jaw dropped. 
"'You do?' Misty turned red. "'Uh, well, yeah, kinda,' she admitted. Ash looked stunned and just stood there for a moment before taking one of his arms and wrapping it around her waist, pulling him to her. "'Then you guessed it. He bent down slightly. Amy, but he's shorter than he is. Chris, oh, just give me a little creative license here, would ya? Thank you. Now where was I? Oh, yeah.' And kissed her full on the lips. When they broke the kiss, it was Misty's turn to be stunned. "'But I thought you wanted your first kiss to be special,' she whispered. "'That was special enough,' Ash said softly. Chris and the audience, aww, at the sickeningly sweet sappiness of the scene, while Amy puts her head in her hands and mutters, I de me, Chris. Well, what else would they have done? Amy takes the keyboard. Let me show you. Wait, I gotta turn on the theme music first. Amy blasts Phantom of the Opera. Much better. Now, let's see. Let's start at Misty's revelation. Ash's shock and Misty's stammered reply. In the middle of her reply, Misty says, oh, screw it, grabs Ash and engages him in a passionate kiss. Chris laughs. Okay, we'll keep it your way. She goes back and makes everyone forget the touching scene. Amy. Touching? More like downright sappy and disgusting. Well, at least it's self-aware. Anyway, the story, Chris? Chris. Yeah, yeah, okay, whatever. Brock and Pikachu started hooting and applauding Misty's feet, and even Team Rocket gave polite applause. <coughs> Pikachu dropped the mistletoe by mistake, and sweat dropped as four annoying pairs of eyes glued to him. Be Pikachu! Time to make my exit. Pikachu said before scampering off into another fanfic with more sane authors. Meowth picked up the fallen mistletoe and held it above his partner's heads. He nodded at the pair and urged them on with his free hand. Emmy, and no, Chris, you're not getting the keyboard. After all, TRR is my forte, not yours. Chris, sardonically. Gee, thanks for your vote of confidence, Amy. Amy, hey, bad Chris, no bagel. The older pair failed to meet each other's eyes. Meowth sighed. Well, after waiting a moment, Meowth decided to take, take things into his own hand. Claws. Brock, hold this. Brock reluctantly put down his video camera. Chris, yep, it's all on tape, folks. Just send twelve ninety nine to Amy. Chris, stop it. That's almost a copyright infringement. Chris mumbles something about stupid copyrights, but stops. Brock took the mistletoe from Meowth, and Meowth jumped, landing on the back of Jessie's head and pushing her into James' arms. Meowth then glared at James with his claws extended. James gulped in. Amy glares at Chris, who meekly gives the keyboard back to her, fearing retribution later. Muttered. "'Jess, please don't kill me!' and kissed her tenderly on the lips while everyone muttered, "'It's about time!' "'Chris, hey, Amy, do we want to end this now?' "'Amy, yeah, sure, let's just leave it abrupt. Nothing else to say anyways. "'Both, use your imagination for a better ending, folks. We're out of time.' "'Well, gee, wasn't that a fulfilling story?' "'That was odd.' <laughs>